everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share to everyone that you know. And today guys, it's Southampton 2, Manchester United 3, come back, yes it was today, beautiful gutsy performance from the lads. 2-0 down at half time where you thought everything was gone out the window. Only out was probably training at half time. But yes, yes, yes guys, the team came back, made it 3-2. El Matrador, Edison Cavani done it for us guys. Whew, what a win. Gutsy performance. Well done guys. Well done lads. And now it's just time for PSG but I'm so proud. I'm so pleased. It was a hard, hard 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 away fixture that we had against Southampton and you know guys let's be honest our recent performances against Southampton has been difficult has been times where we've lost times where we've drawn but today again record breaking consecutive eight win away win yes yes consecutive record breaking i know that Oli has broken a lot of our traditional records our custom records but he today set a new record for himself for manchester united to make it eight wins in a row away from home it's just a shame we can't do that at home and it's good to see that we are seven today a game in hand five points behind liverpool it's looking good it will be looking good but you know Oli out people and the Oli in people of course if you're Oli out as well in that first half you probably think this is the reason why i'm only out you see that guys look at this look at this two no down a half time against southampton and the ollie ends will be like see told you told you man he's got tactics he's told you he's not a bona fide pe teacher i told you he's got something but yes for the neutrals guys we shouldn't be experiencing that but i'm pleased i'm happy that we came back we can enjoy our sunday you know can you imagine us losing again? It'll be the worst one of the worst Sundays we probably would have had. Said, oh, wonderful win on the weekday. And then this again, just to lose. God, why are you doing this to me? What what did I do? What did I do? I pay my tights and, and what? We just lose? But no, of course, it's not that day today. Go straight into that match. Of course, that first half, whew, we was we done well, guys. We was doing well, we was pressing. We was attacking, we had the better chances, but Southampton, at the end of the day, they were clinical, they took their chances. Especially with that set piece, guys. And I have to say, one thing I have to say about those set pieces, zonal marking, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, you need to get rid of zonal marking. It doesn't work and it's not for us and we are conceding goals. And that wasn't the team's fault, that was the manager and the coach's fault because we are playing zonal marking for set pieces. And I just knew it, as soon as the set piece went, I said, this is gonna be a goal. And it became a goal. And I was like, oh, look at these guys again. Zonal marking. When will we ever learn? When will we ever learn? Oli, you need to learn from this. Zonal marking is not the one. And then James Wood Prowse. I... <sighs> Beautiful, wonderful free kick. You just knew something was going to happen as soon as James Wood Prowse stepped up to take that free kick. And then you just knew that was going to go in. And then as soon as it went in, look at Dave, David De Gea injuring himself in the process. And I feel sorry for him. He was hurt. And this is what James Wood Prowse does to keepers as well. But he ended up hurting our goalkeeper. Dean Henderson had to come in and step in and he did well in the second half. Going into the halftime, 2-0 down. And like I said before, Oli, Oli out was training. It was going training. I was going mad. I was mad. I was pissed off. You all was pissed off. Thinking, what the hell is going on today? Why, why, why? When we need these three points today, we have to F up. But of course, we did not F up. Cavani coming in in the second half. El Matador. And the El Matador never stopping. Ever, forever running. Forever chasing those bulls. Chase. Scoring. Especially when he took his time coming on. El Matador took his time. He probably told Oli, bruv, you're going to chill today. You're going to get the best sources out of me, but you're going to chill. You are going to chill. And yet, Oli did chill. Matador coming on. He didn't really need his boots. I don't even know why he took his time to put his boots on. He scored two goals with his headers. But first of all, we have to give it up to Bruno Fernandes. Setting the pace. Scoring the first goal with Cavani assisting again. Great cross. Great cross from Edison Cavani. Giving it to Bruno Fernandes. And Bruno Fernandes giving us the platform to come back. Making it 2-1. Without that, I don't think we would have came back. And then of course, Bruno Fernandes. 
I was about to say Bruno Fernandes, of course, because it's just in my lips right now. He set it up, and it's a Cavani to make it 2-2 to give us that equalising goal. And then, of course, in the dying seconds, Marcus Rashford, who again had another horrendous performance. Decision-making was off the radar today. Of course, him, lovely cross, to give El Matador that winning header. And with that winning header, yes, Manchester United completed the comeback. Great comeback today. I'm pleased. I'm happy, guys. I'm happy because I love games like that with the way we win. It's just, it's a, it's, it's a storyteller. It's one of those games where if you was a footballer, professional footballer, you would tell your grandkids about this game. You'd be like, kids, sit down. Sit down. Let's let grandpa tell you about the time I scored the winning goal for Manchester United against Southampton. Yes. Oh, daddy, that was a wonderful story. Yep. Stuff like that is it's wonderful. It's, it's a wonderful storytelling moment. And it gives every fans that great feelings at the end say that was a good match we was down and out i was ready to leave i was ready to just go home i'll turn off the tv but yeah boom we won great great comeback my overall opinion of this match guys it was good it's good to get the three points we are seventh guys right now as we are as we speak and oh, five points behind liverpool with a game in hand so it's not looking too bad but yet, there are still things that I have to point out. The zone of marking was terrible. And we need to change from that. We need to get away from zone of marking because, boy, it's, if we continue with this, we're going to concede silly goals, especially from set pieces. And Oli needs to realise that. And with the fans, guys, we can only enjoy our Sunday. It's been a wonderful Sunday so far. A great week for Manchester United, especially winning against West Brom. The win against Istanbul, back at Shire. And another win again. A combat to just a great way to you know just to cap the the end of the week just to come back like that and just leave Manchester United fans with a great feeling and then start the new week again with PSG coming hopefully we can do something against PSG at our Old Trafford and and pick up another three points or draw and just go through to the second round of the UEFA Champions League but guys guys man of the match man of the match got to be Edison Cavani. You know that. Who else could it have been? Two goals and an assist today. Instrumental. Inspirational. El Matador. My guy right now. Oh, he's doing well for his, his age as well. So I think that's, I believe that's his third goal so far. A couple of assists as well. Especially was inspirational in, in again, the game against Istanbul. So he's had a good week. Don't give the match. Has to go to Marcus Rashford. Again, making mistakes. Decision making, there's opportunities where he had time to think and make the right pass. But with Mark Strasher, if you give him time to think, he does the wrong thing. He just does the wrong thing. And that's Mark Strasher for you. And he has to learn from that. That's why he has to be my donkey of the match. Fans, 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 enjoy today's victory. Enjoy today. Enjoy a lovely Sunday dinner, you know. It's been a lovely Sunday. God bless this Sunday, you know. I'm happy. I'm very sure all you Manchester United fans are happy, guys. And guys, it's been lovely, fantastic. I enjoyed the show. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Share to your friends, guys. Remember to follow the official Instagram account, which is TV one baby. And you can also follow me on Instagram, as well, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, also on the Twitter. And remember, guys, as always, keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Peace out.